Albert Einstein, who we all know is a great genius, wrote some letters to his daughter Liesl back in 1938, and he said, please hold on to these letters because I'm not sure that humanity is ready for it. So she finally released the letters in 1980. And as I was reading this one letter that he wrote, I thought, this is exactly what we need to hear at this time. We're ready as a humanity and going through what we're going through at this moment. These are the exact words that we need to hear. When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me. And what I will reveal now to transmit to mankind will also collide with the misunderstanding and prejudice in the world. I ask you to guard the letters as long as is necessary, years, decades, until society is advanced enough to accept what I will explain below. There is an extremely powerful force that, so far, science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. When scientists looked for a unified theory of the universe, they forgot the most powerful unseen force. Love is light that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love we live and die. Love is God, and God is love. This force explains everything and gives meaning to life. This is the variable that we have ignored for too long. Maybe because we are afraid of love, because it's the only energy in the universe that man has not learned to drive at will. To give visibility to love, I made a simple substitution in my most famous equation. If instead of E equals M seed square, we accept that the energy to heal the world can be obtained through love, multiplied by the speed of light squared, we arrive at the conclusion that love is the most powerful force there is because it has no limits. After the failure of humanity in the use and control of the other forces of the universe that have turned against us, it is urgent that we nourish ourselves with another kind of energy. If we want our species to survive, if we are to find meaning in life, if we want to save the world and every sentient being that inhabits it, love is the one and only answer. Perhaps we are not yet ready to make a bomb of love, a device powerful enough to entirely destroy the hate, selfishness, and greed that devastates the planet. However, each individual carries within them a small but powerful generator of love whose energy is waiting to be released. When we learn to give and receive this universal energy, dear Lee Zettel, we will have affirmed that love conquers all, is able to transcend everything and anything, because love is the quintessence of life. I deeply regret not having been able to express what is in my heart, which has been quietly beating for you all my life. 
maybe it's too late to apologize. But as time is relative, I need to tell you that I love you. And thanks to you, I have reached the ultimate answer. Your father, Albert Einstein. And I do feel we are being called by life to create this bomb of love that devastates hatred and that it is the ultimate answer for our species to survive. And I pray that you will share this on Facebook, on YouTube, with loved ones, and maybe listen to it every day. For the greatest of these is love. <laughs>